Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. And here's where it starts to get tricky. We've got so many new additions on the ship and so many possible branches that we can go on as far as adventures and missions. But before we begin, I just want to say, and this is, this is a thank you well, first of all, to my subscribers, thank you, you know, for subscribing to my channel and putting up with me. I really appreciate the subscriptions. And I just want to also thank modders who have created mods uh, for these PC versions of games like Mass Effect. I mean, it just is so incredible what the mods can do, how the mods can change the game. How the mods can make the, the game more enjoyable. I mean, as far as story, I mean, gameplay, all of that. It's just incredible. Thank you. Thank you all. Because I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't be playing Mass Effect 3 now if not for mods. Because after that, that ending, when this game originally came out, I was really done with this. But I discovered mods. I discovered playing on a PC because I used to be a console gamer that's why I'm still using a controller right now because I, I just can't don't seem to be able to learn how to use mouse and keyboard I'm just I'm sticking to my controller but um yeah mods thank you subscribers thank you now let's get on with today's episode all right, so we have the Primarch over here who wanted to speak to us in private. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. Uh, let's talk about the Turian ship on Tachanka. Your men that crashed on Tachanka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. As opposed to trusting someone incompletely? Let's talk about the Turian help for Earth. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. All right, there's nothing That's more. all. Of course, yes. Commander. We're just talking in circles. I tell you, politicians. All right. Speaking of which, let's talk to Rex. Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? You gotta love these camera They're shots. At the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. 
I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and I'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Let's talk about after the cure for the genophage. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. Mm -mm. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Glad to hear it. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Alright, that's all, folks. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? All right, so we have two missions. Oh, and we've got Turians on one side and Krogan on the other. It's like a, it's a fight just waiting to happen. Let's hope it doesn't happen on Commander Shepard's watch. You think the Solarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? All right, trainer, what else is it? Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. You are useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> and, and that's not easy, people. You'll be okay. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie... Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The what? algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. It's amazing. Edie, that is. All right, so yeah, they're talking about an active ship, but this this is a skeleton crew. There's hardly anybody on board. I mean, I would have liked to have seen the the bridge here, the CIC, you know, fully manned. You know, people at every action station. Yes, I said it, action station, because that's what these are. You can quote me on that. All right, so... Unread messages at your private terminal. Commander. All right, what else? What else? What else? Oh, this is the war terminal. Wow, do, do these ever stop? All right, so we have a, a news article on indoctrination. Oh, Ranathoptis is dead. Wow, so... Okay, so she was saved in this playthrough that I'm using only to kill herself alright reapers having a tough time on earth well that's good to hear Faron alright so this is Liara's friend that we rescued in the lair of the shadow broker mission in, in Mass Effect 2 and Major Kirahi alright I'm glad he survived in this save. Because I really screwed it up in mine. Okay. What else have we got? 
All right, we're still in orbit around Sir Cash. Let's find ourselves a mass effect relay or a mass relay. All right, so here we are with these uh, the Krogan and Turian issues. We're going to go over here to the Rosetta Nebula. As I'm, I'm a little hesitant to do some of these missions because this is going to get tougher. It's been easy so far and we did increase our difficulty to hardcore. No, I'm not doing legendary. Not yet. All right, so thank you for responding to my message. Da 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 da. I think we get something by coming here. Free selection, yes. What do we get? Oh. Wow, so we get we can pick any of this stuff. Wow, you can get an arc pistol early in the game and a Spitfire. And the plasma shotgun. Wow. Hmm. Cerberus armor. Operatives armor. Okay, they are really giving uh, us a lot of choices. And this is free. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to get the Paladin armor, but my only problem with this is that I think it's just one piece. I don't think I can take the, the helmet off. And I like to see Shepard's face and his reactions and stuff in the cutscenes. Hmm, but it is free, so what else? Yeah, this is the armor I was that um, they put Edie in, the Terminus armor. I think I probably would have called it the wrong thing. A Stratos helmet. And we don't know what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe the last time I played this, I might have went for the credits. And this Chakram launcher is like way OP if you're looking to get through the game earlier. It's part of the uh, Kingdoms of Amalur. I don't know what you want to call it. Promotion, maybe? People, I don't know what to get. All right, I'm going to try the Paladin armor. Can I get anything else? Oh, what's this? Krogan incubation technology. Cerberus ship schematics. Thresher maw nest spores. What would we do with this? Geth Heretic Technology. Hmm. So there are data caches that we could pick up. Uh, let's, I'll just try it out. Can I get all this? Apparently I can. Hmm. 
All right, we'll take all these contracts. All right, so this, oh, what? Okay, it's just, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, so this is the ship that we rendezvoused with, and we are leaving. Let's go to the Exodus Cluster. And we are headed back. Something. Whoops. Fuel. Right. Appreciated. Headed back to Eden Prime. I thought I had added the the mod that let, that lets you use these uh, additional squad mates, but apparently I did not. Okay, so we have to have Liara, and I'm taking Human Edie with us. Uh oh, we might be in trouble because these two do not have any ammo powers. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to make do. Alright, let's see about my new armor that we picked up. Paladin. Oh, you can change out the helmet. Very good. All right, we'll go with this. And we leveled up twice on Sir Kesh. So... Burning damage or recharge speed? I need to keep that fire coming fast and furious. Does this strengthen the health or oh, the recharge speed of the combat drone? Alright. And the recharge speed of Carnage. Excellent. Okay, uh, Edie? We're going with Chain Overload for you as well. Oh, and look at Liara. Duration... How about dealing 150% more damage? That certainly sounds like the thing to go for. Bonus power. I remember using this in um, the multiplayer. Mm. We'll go with bonus power. 
Okay. Let's go. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Eden Prime also marked Saren's first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. These people have it rough. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. I like that paladin armor with the uh, enhanced textures. I mean, it looks way better than it did in multiplayer. Way better. It's amazing. The area appears deserted. Come on, let's see if we can find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. The colonists rebuilt after Saren's attack. It is likely they will rebuild again after Cerberus is defeated. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move on to another. Based on observation of the Normandy's crew, I believe most people invest more emotional permanence to ships they serve on. All right. And we don't have any ammo powers. And we're all using shurikens. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Dr. Tassoni, have you ever encountered dinosaur fossils during your digs? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. No. Jokes have specific structures. That was messing with you. Really, Edie? There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You believe Cerberus has recovered the corpse of a Prothean unmodified by Reaper technology? Cerberus hasn't uncovered corpses. This Prothean is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Then I'm glad you're here. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Not that Prothean we had a choice. Stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. And here they come. There they are! Um. Okay, what a, I, I... Edie, how are you on cooldown already? Let's 
get moving before more of them come back. Is this the way? I guess we're just openly searching for anything we can find. Let's make sure we search each wall. Each and every wall. I think we may need to go back to the first area. Troop deployment. Shepard, the Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. What's this here? All right, some credits. All right, well, we'll just go handle this left-hand side. people. Where's Liara? Okay. Can I shoot through this? Nope. And I can't see. Edie, you shouldn't be out there. Where is he? That hurt. Look out, grenade. Nice, Edie. Drone out. Come on, drone. You can do it. I can't see anything, though. Well, they destroyed it already. Out, Edie. All right. Are they still throwing grenades? I thought I saw something else come up here. Use the console.
How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Okay. I guess we're going back out the same way we came in. Let's do a save. I would hate to have to start this all over again. as we can. Now, didn't we come in this way? I think so, but we never made it through that door. Alright, let's... Can we go out this way? And then circle back around. this way. You know, it's only a matter of time, people, before there's another attack. You gotta brace and steel yourself. Because you just, you don't know. But you know it's coming. You just don't know when. Not unless you've played this game enough times that you do know exactly when. They were gunned down while having drinks uh -oh, and watching right here, the game. Though. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. They're out there. All right, let's grab this. Oh, blood dragon armor. Can we do a save? No. All right. Alrighty. Edie, we are gonna overload this bastard. Oh! Incinerate and warp. There we go. Yeah, 
Incinerate. No, we'll overload and warp. Didn't miss with that, though. Where is it? Uh-huh, dude, no. Oh, he dodged it. Okay, but he's dead. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Oof, I feel like it wants us to go in there, but I think we need to look up here first. And leave no room unturned. Oh. Okay, more credits. Can we save? We can. Oh, another console. Here we go. Stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Okay. Oh, here they come again. All right, Edie. Overload. Thank you. Nicely done. Well, we have shields. All right, let's distract them with a drone. Oh, look at that. The event horizon of the singularity pulled him off his feet. Somebody, stop this engineer. Stasis will do. Slot achievement is complete. All right, where's this tag on? Uh... Let's get its shields off. Incinerate and warp. Good work. Okay. Were we finished in here? I think we were. Oh, 
unable to save. Let's keep going. What? Oh my goodness, I was nearly killed. Oh, Liara! Coming up behind me. somebody back there. Uh-uh. No. Just not happening. Liara, you're back! So there uh, was there anything in here? No, we can't go in there. Okay, so that is a full circle. They have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the controls. No time. Let's find another way across. Yeah, we can just go this way. Let's go ahead and get, um, I think there's some more data and stuff in here. Yep. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Alright, I think we've got all of the data. Yeah, we can't go any further there. All right. We're going to end this episode here. And we'll continue next time with part two of Eden Prime. This is Hill. And I'm out.